In Acton, the Society for Afghan Residents are helping 11-year-old Arash settle in. What are you looking forward to most about living in England? Becoming a scientist. Arash was on one of the last civilian flights out of Kabul. His dad worked for the British Army. Many of his pals haven't been so lucky. Why do you worry for some of your friends? Uh, because of Taliban, of the followers, yes. Uh, they were policemen. Uh, I'm worried that Taliban will go at the door and like uh, kill them or something like that. I'm worried about them. That's a lot to think about for someone who's 11 and a half, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Arash taught himself English. Other refugees will need more support. His new MP says the government must do more. I mean, the government talks a great talk about how it's got all these thousands of people out, but there's a lot of people still left behind in very desperate situations. I mean, at the moment, everyone just feels like we're, everything's going in a black hole and we're banging our heads against a brick wall. Boris Johnson has promised not to abandon any allies, but with the Taliban calling the shots, it will be a testing time ahead. Martin Stew, ITV News.